How many miles per gallon can we get out of a generator to recharge the battery bank? Well, it's not really miles per gallon, it's more how many kilowatt hours, how much energy can we put into that battery bank using a battery charger meant for the lithium battery and a generator and gasoline. So let's find out. Now I know that a small charger like this is not very fuel efficient on a fairly large portable generator like this one. But I was curious. And I knew that I had some very old footage somewhere that had this information. So I actually went searching through my old hard drives and my very old laptop and I found the old raw footage. So I'm going to give you guys a little blast from the past with some of this video footage. So be aware it was one of my first systems I ever built and I tested out the fuel economy of this generator. Well, I've been really curious about this topic and I finally got my hands on one of these uh, CCCV battery chargers. Now this thing is a constant current until you reach the set voltage, which in this case is 50.4 volts and then it maintains that voltage until the batteries don't take any more current. So this is what we use for the lithium batteries. And this one is specific, uh, 50.4 volts, would be for a 12S lithium ion battery, which is what we have with Chevy Volt set up on our power wall. In this test, we're gonna hook up a shunt and a watt hour meter to the charger. And we're gonna measure out exactly one gallon of gasoline and put it in the generator we're gonna run the generator until it dies. So we've consumed exactly one gallon of gasoline, and then we're gonna find out how many watt hours uh, we have put into the battery. So let, let's get to it. Uh, we have a little bit of wiring to do to get this in place. I just finished the wiring, and we have the shunt here, and this is the same shunt I've used on other video projects. And here's the meter, and I'm gonna to have to reset that. And we're connected up here to the battery. And this is also showing 46.19 volts. So we know that's accurate. And right here is where I'll be connecting up the charger. And the charger goes to my bus bars, which are connected to the Chevy Volt batteries. These things uh, can go all the way up to 50.4 volts, but that would be a very high voltage for them. That would be 4.2 volts per cell. I personally like to use 48.6 volts, which is 4.05 volts per cell. I love this generator. I've had it for a long time and it keeps on going. I do the regular maintenance and I'm really happy with it. So this is the one that we'll be using. But if I was buying a new generator for the purpose of recharging these batteries, I get one of those really tiny ones that have the handle on the top. They weigh like 30 pounds. Uh, I'll put an example up on the screen here of what I'm talking about. Uh, and a link in the description below. Now to make this run as fuel efficiently as possible, I will be using this eco throttle option on the generator. So after we start it up, I'll switch it to eco throttle on and then it'll uh, settle down and it'll run as efficiently as possible to power the charger. So uh, I, measured, I took a two liter bottle and I measured out exactly two quarts of water and put a, a, a permanent marker line across there. So we're gonna measure out exactly one gallon of fluid, put it in here. Now this uh, generator, uh, I ran dry, and um, it's completely dry, it's not gonna start for us. Uh, so we know that we're starting with a completely dry uh, engine. We're gonna put the one gallon in, and then run it until it dies again. All right, here we go. Two quarts, let's put that in. A little bit more. Okay, great. We got our exactly our two quarts right there. Come on, make sure it's all in there, right? <laughs> okay, fantastic. All right. 
We have our gallon of gasoline in there. Now we'll go ahead and start her up. Alright, we just plugged this in, the generator is running, and we're going to plug this cord in over here to the battery. Okay, so I heard something happen inside here, a click, maybe a relay or something. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot now of our battery monitor starting out, and then we can go ahead and I'll throw the switch. Now we'll see what's going on here. Looks like we are just over 20 amps, 926 watts going into the batteries. There's no other load, nothing else happening on the batteries right now. So that's it. Now we can turn the generator to Eagle on, and that's going to throttle down, and we'll get our best fuel economy that way. All right, so this guy's running. We have our best fuel economy. We're still putting out 20 amps. Okay, it looks like it's doing its job. Uh, we'll just let everything roll now until the generator runs out of fuel and then we'll know exactly uh, how many kilowatt hours per gallon of gasoline. The engine just shut itself off. Must have ran out of fuel. <laughs> Let's double check. Try it without the load on it. Nope. Okay, good night. And you, how much did we do? 2.588 watt hours. Awesome. Or so almost 2.6 kilowatt hours for one gallon of gasoline. Nice. Well, that was fun. As we just saw, that was not very fuel efficient. Uh, these little uh, wall chargers, they are about 90% efficient on average. Some are a little bit better than that. And we were putting uh, 930 watts into the battery. Now that meant that I had just over a kilowatt or about uh, 1,033 watts on the generator. So I was only running it at about 19% load and we had 2.6 kilowatt hours per gallon. Now I was curious after that uh, just how efficient we could get it. So I went to Home Depot and I rented a very small uh, Honda generator. Uh, just to try this same test out again and see how much more fuel efficient we could get. Okay, we're about to run our second test now in the smaller Honda, so let's go ahead and reset this. There we go. All right, now we can go outside and we can fire it up and there's no on off switch. It turns out this is not on or off. So as soon as I fire up the generator and plug this in, it's going to start recharging. I would love to put a full gallon of gas in this so that I'm using the exact same volume of gas as I did on my last test with the bigger generator. I looked up the specs on this generator and it turns out it's a 0.95 gallon fuel tank. So I can't fit a full gallon. I'm really sorry about that but we'll just have to do a half gallon and multiply by two. <laughs> All right, let's turn on the choke. There's a fuel valve over here. It's already on because I ran it dry, so we'll go ahead and fire up. Plug it in while the eco throttle is off, 
and then we'll turn the eco throttle on. This kicked on. Okay, so that's switching between showing amps and showing volts. That's all that switch does. Up here, we're at 20 amps, we're going in. So the, the, the electricity is already flowing into the battery. Now we'll go ahead and throw this to Eco Throttle. So hopefully that runs as efficiently as possible. Look at that vibration. All right, so we'll let half, half a gallon go through that, and then we'll come back and see. We're still running on the little generator, and it is officially more efficient. <laughs> Remember, we're on half a gallon with this one, so 1.3 kilowatt hours was our goal. We passed it by quite a bit, so we are officially more efficient than the big generator. We'll keep going. We're done. This thing died. All out of fuel. Okay, let's go in and see how many kilowatt hours we did. 2.16 kilowatt hours. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so if we multiply that, we're going to have, what, 4.3 kilowatt hours? Wow, this thing is almost twice as efficient. Well, that was amazing. It was almost twice as efficient. We got 4.3 kilowatt hours into the battery per gallon of gasoline. Wow! That little Honda 2200 is actually 2200 surge. It's 1800 watts running. And again, we had just over a kilowatt on it, which means that we had about a 57% load on that little generator. Uh, now, the most fuel efficient use of a generator would be running it at about 80% load. So if we wanted to get even more efficient, we could go with something that had more like a 1200 or 1400 running watts, uh, which might be listed as an 1800 watt generator. Uh, that would even be more efficient. So I hope that sheds some light on how to most efficiently use a generator to help recharge a battery. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. So it is a good generator. I can power the house on it, but I can't power the house and recharge the batteries at the same time. So you could.